A number of migrants cross through the jungle between Panama and Colombia to continue their path to the U.S., eventually making their way across the southern border. Panama voting in a new president who is no stranger to the border. That's right. Fox SA's Yami Virgen explains how this campaign policy could impact immigration closer to home. Jose Raul Molino was elected yesterday president of Panama on a platform that includes something that many here in the United States should be interested in, immigration. Molino has vowed to stop the flow of migrants going through the Darien Gap on their way to the United States. Que confiaron en nuestra propuesta porque tenían esperanzas de salir del hueco en que los últimos 10 años los han metido. That was last night, Jose Raul Molino's acceptance speech after winning the presidency in Panama. Molino's platform included stopping the flow of migrants going through the country's Darien Gap, one of the worst jungles in the world that connects South America with North America. No estoy... In an interview on YouTube this morning, Molino vowed to close the jungle and to repatriate all of the migrants to where they came from while respecting human rights. I have personally taken our Fox SA viewers to the Darien Gap, where more than half a million people crossed in 2023. Molino, who was Minister of Defense when Panama had to battle Colombia's guerrilla group out of the Panamanian side of the jungle, says a wall cannot be built, but technology will help to keep migrants out and stop the flow to the United States. Molino will take office July 1st. He is a substitute for the ex-president of Panama, Martinelli, who was banned from running. Jamie Virgen, Fox SA. For a more in-depth look at the crisis border, check out Yami's podcast, Fight for the Southern Border. You can listen in Spanish and English wherever you get your favorite podcasts.